What's up guys? I'm Mike from theparkprodigy.com and on today's video we're going to take a look at exactly how the interactive wands at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter work and all the tips and tricks we think you need to get the most out of your day at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter if you are planning to go get a wand and if you do stick around until the end of this video we will give you the most important tip on how you can be one of the first people into Ollivanders at either Hogsmeade or Islands of Adventure so you don't wait too long on line. We're really excited for this video. The interactive wands are super fun. So let's go get started. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. If you are in the process of planning Universe Vacation, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel so you get the latest and greatest Universal breaking news as it comes out with some more tips and tricks for different stuff going on in the parks just like this. But as you all know, and you're probably planning for it, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter has completely taken over Universal Orlando. Now, when Diagon Alley opened up in 2014, it brought a brand new immersive experience to the parks and one of those experiences is the interactive wands in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Now you can use and you can purchase wands at both lands in Universal Orlando. We have Universal's Hogsmeade and we have Universal's Diagon Alley. Now while this experience is super, super fun, it also can be extremely overwhelming if you don't know exactly how to tackle your day or to tackle the experience. So that's why we put this video together and we're gonna break down exactly what you need to know to go and enjoy the universal interactive wand. And we're gonna start with probably the most common question and that is what exactly is the Harry Potter interactive wand? Now, all Harry Potter wands allow wizards to cast spells throughout both Diagon Alley and Hogsmeade. With a gentle flick and a little spell, the interactive wands will create a unique magical experience throughout both lands. Now, be on the lookout for the brass medallions that are embedded in the ground. Those will be the indication on exactly where you can use your interactive wand. And you'll see each interactive wand comes in an Ollivander's box with a dual-sided wand map of spell locations. So now on to the next common question and that is how do the interactive wands actually work? So the wand is a passive device, meaning there's actually no electronics inside. And a lot of people, they're, they're kind of confused by that. There's no batteries or anything like that. Instead, the wand reflects light back to a sensor that tracks the movement of the wand in your hand and so when you cast the correct spell movement, the light pretty much is detected and the system activates. And that kind of is, you know, that's how the spell is cast and that's how you actually see what's going on on the other side. The wand pretty much gives you wizarding powers because you probably, I even I just said it, I have no idea what, <laughs> what that means. I'm just pretty much letting you guys know what I researched online. Um, <laughs> you pretty much have wizarding power. It's that, that's the, uh, that's the, the gist of it. And here are some of the steps just to confirm that you'll take in order to go and cast those spells. So now how exactly do you use your interactive wand? So again, keep an eye out for the, the medallions on the ground. Then once you find one, you'll go up to it and you will simply stand in front of the outline spell casting location and you're going to cast your spell by waving your hand in front of the interactive location. Now, you're probably saying, you know, Mike, I've seen the movies, Ron couldn't pick this stuff up. It, it seems pretty difficult, right? In case you guys are having any issues, the cool thing is that Universal always has a spell casting assistant to help. So the majority of the spell locations are always gonna be supervised by spellcasters and they have mastered the spell casting techniques. So what you can do is you can always ask a team member and they'll be able to help you out, especially the, the young you know wizards and witches. They'll definitely be able to get help and just to make sure you guys will be able to fully take advantage of everything. Even if you do you know, have a little trouble at first, they'll be able to make sure that you are casting the correct spells and you guys will fully be able to cast the magic and you will see the interactive locations coming to life. So that's something very, very cool. Um, and we just wanted to make sure that we touched upon so you don't have to, you know, you don't have to be too, too worried. The other really cool thing is, you know, like we said, you will get a map with the spelling locations and that map is going to show you the spell locations in both Diagon Alley and Hogsmeade. Here's a tip though, make sure you do not throw that map out and make sure you keep that map with you because there's actually secret spell locations on that map. And the only way to find it is if you put it under the right light. Kind of sounds like, um, what's that movie? National Treasure, yes, but it's not on the back of the Declaration of Independence. You will have a 
hidden locations on the map that's given to you at Ollivander's. Now, the way to find and the way to show the hidden spell locations under the black light is you have to step into Nocturne Alley and you'll see that your map will be able to come to life and you'll see the other hidden locations. Again, if you're having trouble and if you're not sure where Nocturne Alley is, not a problem. Just make sure to ask a Universal team member. They will be happy to send you in the right direction. Okay, so now that you guys are excited and I'm pretty much sending you, like I said, on a, tr a treasure hunt, um, how exactly do you purchase the interactive wand? Now, the cool thing is you can purchase the interactive wand in both lands. So it doesn't matter if you are in Hogsmeade or Diagon Alley. This is something that's kind of different from the other books because there's only one Ollivander's. But at Universal Orlando, you do have the option to purchase your wand in each theme park, doesn't matter which one you're in. Now over at Diagon Alley, the wand locations are going to be Ollivanders, and that was created back in 382 BC. You also have wands by Grigorovich. Now over at Hogsmeade, you do have kind of the Hogsmeade branch of Ollivanders. So again, Ollivanders is in both parks, but you will have also access to the wand cart on the path to Hogsworth Castle. Now, also, it's important to note that you can also purchase the wands at either of the main Universal gift shops over at City Walk, and you can also purchase them online if you want to be prepared. So those are the main spots. If it was up to me, and again, we're going to touch base on this quickly at the end of the video. If it was up to me and you are really going for the full, you know, Harry Potter experience, especially for the, the young ones, you really do want to go to either one of the Ollivanders wand shops just because those really are, you know, those are the nods to the movies. And the overall shopping experience, in my opinion, is super, super cool. Not only that, but one guest per show is chosen to be in a special wand choosing experience, um, very similar to the movie, you know, and as they say, the wands choose the wizard, um, not vice versa, right? So that's something that, again, if they are really, really into the movies and the books, that's something that, you know, it's not something that you could purchase, unfortunately. However, it is something to keep an eye out for, and it's something that, you, you know, guys can definitely, hopefully, take advantage of if you are chosen to be the lucky one. And for the older witches and wizards who are planning to go to either of the Ollivander shops, you can also just enjoy the show as much as the young witch or wizard who gets picked, and the show is about 20 minutes long. Okay, so now that we went over the locations, exactly how much does the interactive wand cost? Now, the interactive wands will start at $59 plus tax, and there are different styles. Now, this is probably another one of the coolest things about the interactive wands when you go and you experience them at Universal Orlando is you do have a bunch of options, um, and just like right, in, you know, in the the books and the movies, um, you could see that the you know the wand chooses the wizard. So obviously there are certain parameters. There's a lot of stuff that goes into that. But for the young witch and wizards at home, if you guys do want to buy the wand of your favorite Harry Potter character, you can absolutely do that. And they have some of the most popular, such as Harry, Hermione, Ron, Dumbledore, Sirius, Lord Voldemort, Professor Snape, and so much more. Universal also has different wands based on your birthday, and this is kind of similar to, I guess, zodiac signs, you know, where they're based on the time of year, you would get a specific um, wand type, and that wand would have, you know, very s specific um, attributes, kind of, again, similar to zodiac signs, and, you know, they do have pretty much the entire year, obviously, <laughs> to cover all the birthdays. But if you also are looking to kind of create your own, you can also design your own wand, which is another very, very cool thing at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Okay, so that is pretty much what the interactive wand is, how you buy it at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. One of the most common questions we get is how long does the interactive wand last? Again, one of the cool things, because it's not run on batteries, they'll last pretty long. So, you know, they'll last for a couple trips if you guys continue going back to Universal Orlando. You can definitely bring your interactive wand back for every trip and it will work. Now, also, let's say for some reason it's just not working, you can always take it to one of the Universal Wand Shops and they'll help you fix it. Another tip we have is regarding that Ollivander's Wand experience that we spoke about. Now again, one lucky guest is going to be chosen by Ollivander himself. So now a lot of questions we, you know, we receive is, how can we make sure that we are that lucky guest? Well, <laughs> one of the things that we will say is, most of the guests are going to be right around 12 years old. So that, you know, Universal is really looking for the young witches and wizards. And the one of the main reasons is because, you know, that's really when a lot of the young witches and wizards start to get their letter of acceptance to Hogwarts. So it just makes sense because that's when they are really going and they're getting those wands to be prepared for their first day of class. One of the last tips and tricks that we do have is regarding avoiding the crowds when buying your wand. Now, 
just like it sounds, Ollivanders is extremely popular. And there can be a, a line, essentially the same line that you know you would possibly wait on to get onto a ride to get your wand at one of the Ollivander shops. Now what we have found is some of the best ways to avoid the long lines and the crowds is to show up very, very early in the morning, get it out of the way first thing, or wait till the parks are a little bit less crowded later on at night. For those of you watching at home who did not know, here at the Park Prodigy, we are Universal Orlando travel agents. Not only that, we sell Universal Orlando theme park tickets on our website. Now, the cool thing about our theme park tickets is they do come with early park admission. And this could be a huge help when you're planning your day, specifically if you are trying to partake in the Universal Orlando interactive wands. Now, the, the ways that we could kind of use early park admission, there's two ways, really. The first and one of the coolest is that Ollivanders is actually open for early park admission. That is correct. So if you do want to get the buying experience just out of the way and you want to go about your day, we highly recommend that you go to Ollivanders for the early park admission and you uh, really you'll have a little bit more time as well because the shop won't be as crowded. Now the other way, and this is really I think, you know, <laughs> taking advantage of all aspects of the early park admission is you can go in and you can get on one of the Harry Potter rides before anyone else. So you kind of get one of the most popular rides in Universal out of the way. Then you can go over to Ollivanders for regular park opening and then kind of get into the wand buying experience and then go about your day and go and cast those interactive spells like we've been talking about from there. But those are just two of the ways that you can take advantage of that early park admission and give yourself some additional time to explore and have fun with the wands later on in the day. I think that's all the time we have for today. If you guys are in the process of planning Universal Orlando vacation, be sure to go check out our website, theparkprodigy.com. We have a bunch of free vacation planning tools, everything you need to plan an amazing Orlando vacation. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Until next time, I will talk to you soon.